Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my top three reasons why you should create your Power BI reports against a single central data model in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, single central data model. Didn't you do a video on this already when you talked about data silos? Yeah, I did. But it doesn't seem that anyone is listening. Uh, and also, I was reading an article by Christopher Wagner. Christopher, thanks for all the comments and blog posts where you give Adam and I all these great kudos. We appreciate it. Thank you. And he wrote a blog post talking about data flows and data sets recently. In one section, he said you should create use a single data set. And he even called out, I think, Accelerator BI, where they called it a golden model. Um, and I actually wrote a really good article. You should go read that article. And, and I just decided I'm going to talk about the top three reasons why I think, Patrick, think you should use a single central data model. Okay? All right. So let's get into this. The first reason, reason number uno, is because oftentimes when you create your report, you build your data model out, the first thing people do, wait a minute, wait a minute. Instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do. Let's head over to my laptop. All right. So this is what happens. The first time someone creates a data model, right? I built my nice data model with all my DAX and my relationships and you know my data prep and M and everything. The first thing they do is they start designing reports. All right? I designed this really beautiful report. Then I publish the report to the Power BI service. Then I give people access to it. Typically what will happen is they'll come back to me and go, Patrick, hey, can you add another page that answers this question? So this first page answers this question, the next page answers this question, then they show someone. And so then that person will come back and say, Patrick, hey, can you add another page to this report? But I wanna answer this question. And the data model is great because it can answer all these questions. But now what happens is if you take a look at this report, this is what happens. They add another page, they add another page, they add another page, and another page. And then my report consumers go, wait a minute, what the French toast? Every time I open this report, I got to tab through or look for the page that I want. It's just too much work, right? It's too much work. So instead of doing that, if you use a central model, now you can isolate those pages to a given report without duplicating those that data set. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So instead of doing this, if you use a central data set, right, I can open up a new desktop. I choose right here in the ribbon and if you enable the new ribbon you can see where it says power bi data sets or you can click get data and go to power platform either way it'll take you where you need to go all right i'm going to go here it's going to open up a dialog window adam did a video talking about shared data sets and stuff and with the endorsements if you don't know anything about that you should go watch his video um, and then what i can do is i'll sort my workspace and i know there's a workspace i have power bi data sets and i just choose data model one click create now I'm live connected to that data model. So instead of adding multiple pages, right, to that single report that contains the data model, what I can do now is I'm live connected. So let's say someone comes from another department and say, hey, I saw that report you created for Jim or Sue, whoever it was, and I want you to create a report for me that uses this data model, but I want to answer a different question. So instead of opening the original data, you know, the original PBIX file with those pages in it. I can isolate and answer a particular question in this report and just publish this up. And now I'm only publishing, you know, the visualizations, the report, not an additional data model, right? So reason number one, I can minimize the pages in my report and make my end users so much happier by connecting to this central model, okay? That's reason number one. Reason number two, reason number two is really important, right? So the first scenario was you just added multiple pages, but this is something that's more problematic. This is something that I see so much and it drives me bananas. So let's go back to my laptop. So this is what will happen. So someone will come up and they'll see this report that I created and they go, oh man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Patrick. Can you create something like this for me? And this is what the report developer or the data modeler, the Power BI developer will do. They'll go over to the file system. They'll say right click, copy, paste. And they'll have a new data model 
a new PBIX file, they'll open up the PBIX file and start building the reports and then publish that. And now I have two models that I need to maintain. In this case, I have five models that I need to maintain the logic. So if you add a new measure, change some logic and some DAX, modify the data prep, change the relationships, you probably need to go through every one of those models to manage this, to update this and keep this all in sync. You guys know what I like to do. This is the first one of the year. I'm not lazy, I'm what? Just really efficient. That's not efficient. Copying those models over and over again, don't do it, don't do it. Instead, what you should do is, let me show you back to my laptop. Okay, they say, well, this report is nice, but I need to add a measure. All you do is you go back over to the original data model that we published earlier, and I'm gonna add just a really, really crappy measure. I'm just gonna add a measure here, just a fake measure, just so you can see, right, how this works. So I'm gonna create a measure. We're gonna call this measure Patrick equals one. Patrick's number one, right? So add that measure. And then what I'm gonna do is publish this. I'm gonna have to give it a save first. I'll let it prompt me for the save. I'll publish. Or save. Now come here and we'll look for my Power BI data sets workspace. Where are you? There he goes. Click select. It's going to say, hey, it already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Of course I do. I get it overwritten. There we go. Now it's published. Then I go back over to where I'm live connected and you can see internet sales right here. Not creating a new PBIX file. This is my new report that I'm about to build for the new person. If I just click refresh, there's the new Patrick measure right there, right? Because I'm live connected. Any schema changes that I make, if I click that refresh, it's gonna go get that stuff for me and I can start using that and building my new report. So I've separated my data model from the reporting and now I have two different facets. I'm using Power BI for two separate things and I've isolated that single data model and we can use this and now here, I can put just the pages I need for that report but more importantly, I'm only maintaining my logic in one place. That's number two. It's crazy, this is bananas. First one, minimize the number of pages in a report. Number two, right? Minimize how, where I need to maintain my logic. I'm only maintaining the logic in one place. So what's number three, Patrick? Well, let me show you. Number three is imagine if you use the last scenario where you're copying, copying the data models. Once you publish all those data models out, if I go over to Power BI, I have five data models published here. What do I need to do to those data models? I gotta refresh them all. So I need to schedule the refresh of all of these models, right? And you guys may be thinking, hey, it's working for me so far. Talk to your DBA, right? Talk to the pay person that's maintaining that source. You could be indirectly, you don't, you don't realize what you're doing, putting a burden on that backend source, right? You can be impeding performance because you're refreshing the exact same tables over and over again, and there could be other applications using your data warehouse, using the, the source system. And so you can minimize that by centralizing, you know, creating that one golden model. Thank you, Accelerator BI. I was waiting to use that in the, in the video, right? That one version of the truth, and now you only need to refresh that model once as opposed to refreshing it six times. And the last thing I wanna talk about the refresh is if you're using the premium capacity, you only get a certain number of slots. So like a P1, for example, you only can refresh six, right? Data models concurrently at the same time. And if I added a seventh one, you know, with the refresh for that time slot, it's gotta wait. And now it's gonna make my refreshes take longer. Makes sense, all right? Three true reasons, right, that you want to do this. What do you guys think? You got other reasons. Remember, these are my top three reasons. There's other reasons why you should have a main, maintain a single model. But what's, do you have other reasons why you should do this? Let me know. Do you have any other comments, questions? You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. First time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.